What's up, Royals? It's your girl, Queen Hadaza, and I'm back with you with another true word. Okay, y'all, so going on this journey, you already know, this journey that I be on, God be really talking to me and keeping me focused. And have y'all ever been in like, okay, have y'all ever been in the kind of warfare where it's like the physical battleground, like, like, Okay, the person you're warring against is in your face. Like this warlock or this witch or this ungodly person that's trying to infiltrate your camp or trying to take from you, take your power. Because, you know, they, I don't know, those type of people, they think that they could take power from a child of God covered in the blood of Jesus, but they can't, right? So, bam, they go to warfare. They think they can do something against a child of God that they can't. <laughs> and then a child of God is protecting themselves. You know what I'm saying? All this is spiritually, though, right? So, I had an encounter with somebody that physically they was in my face, saying that they were my family, they loved me, they were there for me, you know, but spiritually i knew that they were a witch i knew that they um did not believe in christ i knew that they were not covered in the blood of jesus so and i also knew that clearly they were so prideful in themselves or so you know i don't prideful would be the best word to think to even describe it they were so prideful in themselves that they thought that they could take my purpose my calling away that's in christ that's in god like they, like, they thought that I didn't know that a child of God that, you know, is covered in the blood of Jesus, that full armor God on you, uh, witchcraft and none of that stuff works against us. Like, God gives us a sound mind, power, and love. He gives us discernment. He gives us authority. And with these weapons, let alone with the biggest mass destruction weapon, weapon of mass destruction, that's what I call it. The Bible is a big weapon, uh, a, a big weapon of mass destruction. You feel me? So with all these other spiritual gifts that God gave us, the discernment, the authority to speak through our, you know what I'm saying, out of our mouth, the authority triumph over lies and, and serpents and stuff like that. We also have this big old weapon of a Bible where if we pick out a, a bible verse oh baby the perfect bible verse will take away every enemy they will disappear out your life you know so i don't you know these sometimes people don't know that some you know sometimes people don't know that some children of god we're not playing we understand especially this new wave that's going on when, when god unleashed his spirit upon the earth during covid you know took his spirit up out of churches and and unleashed it you feel me and in and, 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 and failing different men and women baby we are god has put us through the test we have been through the fire okay that no diploma no no master's degree nothing can uh can can, can withstand the test and, and, and all of the things that god has put us through you feel me so and i make it look easy i do i make it look like i'm just a happy little child of god and don't know nothing you know what i'm saying because i'm always smiling i'm always nice you know what i'm saying but baby my warfare gear is always on my discernment is always alert i'm always looking at the spirit and not the man okay so this thing come over here honey this thing is filled with demons this thing has taken the cover off, um, has taken the blood of Jesus off their life. This thing is not what it used to be. This thing has changed, and it is it it, it has mental health issues now, and it, it it has some demonic entities going on, and so I had to I had to get that up out of here spiritually. I was in that war, so spiritually I won. So the thing flee, you feel me? And as the thing flee, God told me, hey. Don't ever let nobody, to, you know, just because of a title or, or how long they've been in your life or a relationship, don't let them, you know, it, it, it's never to determine who you are. And I was like, I know, that's right, right? Like, I'm like, I'm like I'm, I know, God, you right. He was like, yeah, I passed the test. You feel me? I, he was proud of me. <clears throat> God's proud of me. I passed the test. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't let that thing get in me. I saw it. I rebuked it, cast it out, and it got up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So... Just know, like, in this in, in, in this time, it's time such as this, don't let nobody stop you from being a child of God. 
Don't let nobody come in your life. I don't care how long you know them. If they're your mama, your daddy, your best friend, your sister. Listen, if they took the cover off of the blood, if they took that cover off of them, that is a choice that they made. Do not let it affect you. Do not let it affect your household. Do not let it stop you from being who God called you to be. And you better speak the truth to them. God kept telling me to speak the truth to this thing. Tell this thing what it is. I said, you know, you're not covered in the blood of Jesus. You are susceptible to demonic attack, baby. Period. I don't care. It ain't about religion. It's the furthest thing from a religion. Okay? This is real. Okay? If you're not covered in the blood of Jesus, you are susceptible to demonic attack. Period. So, um, I don't know if that thing was sitting here to test me to see if, <laughs> if they could do something to me or if, if it was sitting here for me to deliver it. But either way it go, baby, I was covered both ways. <laughs> I was covered both ways. I was like, okay, Lord, I hear you on this side. Keep myself covered. Da, 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 da. And I also hear you, you know, speak truth. Give love and life to the situation. And I did that, you know. So I'm praying that this this thing is, is, is going to uh, be found by God. Or at least go to my father in heaven in Jesus' name and talk to talk to my father and cause you know, really it's something else God told me. They mad at him. They not mad at me. They mad at him. They mad at him. They mad at him in Jesus' name. That they, they, they that's why they switched over to the other side, thinking the other side was gonna be better. But the other side ain't got no ammo. Cause you know what I'm saying? As far as I know, God don't fool with us until we go through his son. You can't get to the father unless you go through the son. Period. You can't get through the Father. You can't get to God. No matter what name you want to call him, you can't get to him until you get to his son and you go through his son and you cover yourself with the blood of Jesus and you use and you tell God and you tell Jesus he is your Lord and your Savior. You use everything he did for you as a covering for yourself and your family. In faith. You hear that? Confirmation. You heard my baby. Yeah. <laughs> So I just want to get up here and encourage somebody in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Don't let these folk play you out your position, baby. Don't let these folk play you out your covering. Don't let these folk play you out your anointing. God is good all the time. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love y'all. Peace, Royals. <laughs>